I'm not sure quite what qualities would um, define a dress watch, um, but the Zoll 541 looks like it seems to, apart from the dial diameter, which is slightly big. But um, apart from that, it does seem quite a good candidate for something you would wear at a nice occasion. It is slim and in the right light, I think it's quite elegant looking. So let's have a look at this thing. Good day to you all and welcome back to another BBW review. This is going to be a quickie because um, it's a basic quartz watch. So over to the measurements. You have a 40 millimeter diameter casing there. Uh, the lug width is 20 millimeters. You have quite a slim 9.6 height from base to the flat crystal on top and a 47.5 millimeter lug to lug with um, lug endings that do slope down to hug the wrist. So this should look like quite a nice watch that fits most size wrists. Uh, the case itself, as you can see, it's a brushed case having a, a horizontal brushing all around. Has a nice effect there. You have a five millimeter crown and we're going to jump straight into the movement there. So, to check that uh, minute hand jump, let's set the minute hand over the 12 and engage. Nothing there. And again, slight jump there. Uh, once more. No, I think that's a pass step. Yeah. So quite a good movement. It's just probably a basic uh, Chinese movement, but aren't they all? Um, stainless steel back, water resistant. If it's not mentioned, it will be 30 meters or three ATM and a push on pull off cover. That's basically the back. Um, back to the case itself. Now, before you approach the flat mineral crystal, you have a quite a nice um, rose gold bezel that matches the uh, rose gold on the strap and the applied indices where you have battens all around apart from the Romans at the 12 and the 6. The hands are also um, rose gold. Let's move those out to get a better look at the hands. Quite, they swing around quite freely but that's okay. Um, you have um, quite delicate um, hands. Uh, the minute hand's long enough, the hour hand is a bit short, and the second hand is just a straight stick. But uh, it, it, does, it does line up with all the markers, as you can see, which is quite nice. Uh, below the 12, you have the applied Yazol name. And the dial itself is quite a, it's almost a sunburst. It does look much better in natural light, but it is a kind of deep blue, which does go well with the rose gold. So it's a nice color match. And that also leads on to the color of the bezel itself and through to the links on the bracelet. The bracelet itself is a butterfly deployment um, push, push pins, uh, the links, the links are their individual links. So I believe they're individual links. Um, let me check. So, sorry for the price. For the, this is $6. So I don't think you're going to get, um, it shouldn't be a one, two, three, four. It shouldn't be a five link. So yeah, I think it's just uh, all of this, what you see here, is just one link. But it's a nice bracelet, uh, starting 20 millimeters at the case and narrowing down to 18 at the deployment clasp. 
So basically, for what you get for the money, uh, no complaints. Uh, it is a nice looking watch. Let's have a look at it on the wrist. Here we go. Quick wrist roll. Um, I like the way the light pulls out that rose gold on the bezel and on the links of the bracelet. That's quite a nice touch. And also the, um, the indices and the hands. Uh, the profile. Uh, as you can see, at 9.6, it is going to appear very flat to the wrist, which is why I would suggest it um, comes pretty close to a dress watch. Um, now, mine is a bit loose. But I think once you remove uh, it to a few links so it's a bit tighter, that is going to look a lot better on the wrist. And as you can see here, there's no overhang, there's no gaps. At 9.6 millimeters, absolutely perfect fit. There you go, no complaints. Now, as with other Yuzo watches, um, this is kind of an example where the price of the watch and what you get for that price um, doesn't seem to match. Uh, you, this is six dollars, and what you get for six dollars is something far in uh, much higher quality. Um, it's a really nice watch. It's just a basic quartz, but um, with being a basic quartz, it's quite well designed. The materials are better than most, certainly at this price point, and. Um, you shouldn't really have many points to uh, complain about. I, I certainly don't. Um, so, very quick review uh, of a, quite a basic watch with some nice design touches. So, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again with another watch on the green chair. Until then, take it easy.